Hey guys, welcome back to our last video on variation parameters where I'm going to show you a little quick trick to finish the problem faster. So in the last videos, I've showed you this really tedious process of determining U1 and U2, but instead now we're gonna look at how to do that using the RON scan. So let's revisit this example right here, Y double prime plus Y is equal to tangent T. And we determined that the homogeneous solution of this is equal to C1 times cosine T plus C2 times sine t. And normally for various parameters, what we do is we drop the c's and add the u's. So we assume the particular solution of the form u1 times cosine t plus u2 times sine t, where u1 and u2 are functions of t. So without going through that tedious process to determine u1 and u2, we are going to compute them directly using the Ronskin. So here are the formulas that we will be using we have u1 is equal to the negative integral of y2 times f of t over the Ronskin, and u2 is equal to the integral of y1 times f of t over the Ronskin. So what I mean by f of t is just the non-homogeneous part of the difference equation. So this guy is f of t. And what I mean by y1 and y2, these are just the first and second homogeneous solutions. So this would be y1 and this would be y2. And then of course, the Ronskian of y1 and y2 is equal to the determinant of y1 and y1 prime, and then y2, y2 prime. So let's go ahead and use these formulas to determine u1 and u2 directly and solve this non-homogeneous difference equation. So let's start off by evaluating the Ronskian. So let's go ahead and replace y1 and y2 in this formula. So y1 is cosine t, y2 is sine t, and their derivatives are negative sine t and cosine t, respectively. So when we take the determinant, we get cosine squared t, and then plus a sine squared t, which we know is just equal to one from that common trig identity. And so we have everything we know to evaluate these integrals now. So let's start with u1. So u1 is equal to the negative integral of y2, which is sine t, times f of t, which is tangent t, all divided by the Ronskin, which is just one, dt. So this is the same integral that we encountered last time where we used a trig integral identity, and we're gonna use the same thing here. So this comes out to be the negative natural log of secant t plus tangent t, and then plus sine t. And then our u2, which is equal to the integral of y1, which is cosine t, times f of t, which is tangent t, all over one dt. This is just equal to the integral. The, the cosine cancels with the cosine and the tangent, leaving just a sine of t, which we know to be negative cosine t. So we have already computed u1 and u2, and we've saved a bunch of time. And we are already ready to assemble our final solution, which is the homogeneous solution, plus the particular solution, so plus u1, which is this mess, all times cosine t, and then plus u2 times sine t, which is minus cosine t times sine t. And this guy cancels out with this guy since it's being multiplied by a cosine. And that leaves us with just y is equal to c1 times cosine t plus c2 times sine t minus cosine t times the natural log of secant t plus tangent t. So this is our answer, and look at how fast we did that. It almost makes you frustrated that we went through all that trouble in the last video. But as I understand it, some professors prefer you to use this method, and some professors prefer you not to use this method. Personally, whenever I took differential equations, my professor said, no, you're not allowed to use this method. So I never used it, but uh, maybe you can. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.